So welcome back everyone to a new video here where I will be sharing an amazing and the free tool to optimize your Windows 10 or 11 for the gaming and the performance. You can boost your FPS and fix all kind of lagging problem. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. And the tool we are talking about is the Hone.gg and it says optimize your PC for gaming. Now before downloading and optimizing your performance, I would recommend you that go ahead and create a restore point in case if any of the setting doesn't work for you or you don't want to keep this application then you can quickly revert it back so again to create a restore point it's very simple click on your windows search type restore and click on create a restore point at the bottom here click on create now give a name here so i will type home optimization you can take any name that you want to and then finally you have to click on create and within few seconds only the restore point will be created and then you can click on close click on ok again bring up the website click on download home and it will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes choose your desired language click on next it will ask you the installation folder so if you want to uh, change the location instead of the c drive then you can do it from here accept the term click on next so once it get downloaded you might be getting this message authenticate in browser so you will have to click on it then click on confirm all right so finally you will be coming to this kind of dashboard now here on the top left and top you will find the system is core and on my end you can see it shows me zero percent because i have not done anything yet uh, but possibly once we will be done it will show some kind of a score and of course the maximum score i will be getting for my system the maximum will be good for my uh, PC performance and for the gaming. All right, now on the left hand side, you will find a few categories here. This is the home section. And before proceeding with any kind of optimization here, you need to click here on the backup from the left hand side. And it asks you to create a new backup because, in case if the setting doesn't work for you, then you can easily revert it back. Now we have already created a restore point, so we don't have to do here now. And you can see uh, it has automatically detected here. Okay, so now we can come to the optimization section and we can start with the basic one here and it says optimize browser background optimization that try to reduce background activity for edge and the chrome. Now we all know while running the edge or the chrome browser, there is a lot of utilization of the resources by these browser. So go ahead and enable this option. Disable the browser hardware acceleration. Yes, we have to disable it because once the hardware acceleration will be enabled the browser will be getting the better performance instead of our game okay so we don't want that we want that our game should have the better performance so we will just disable it by enabling this on and if you want to read uh, more about this feature then you can read here for each and every setting you will be getting a note that you can read clean taskbar and the start menu if you want to go ahead and clean them you can do that disable the action center i will just disable it disable the boot effect disable windows boot messages spinning animation and logos so if you want to boot i won't recommend you so you can leave that as it is disable the browser update disable update for firefox edge and chrome now you can do that manually as well if you want to update your browser so for that you can just go ahead and disable the automatic browser update Disable ease of access setting. Yes, I have to disable it. Disable windows focus assist. Yes, I can go ahead and disable it. Disable the live tiles. You can leave it. Disable the notification. Yes, I want to disable it. Disable windows mobility center. So go ahead and disable it. Disable the OneDrive. Again, I would recommend you to go ahead and disable it. If you are not using the OneDrive, disable showing personalized item. Yes, I want to disable it. Disable the storage sense option yes you have to go ahead and disable that search highlight yes i will disable it disable the transparency yes i will disable it windows copilot again if you are not using it then you can go ahead and disable it increase taskbar transparency this won't work if you have disabled the transparency this might decrease the performance a little so you don't have to do anything here use windows 10 classic alt tab menu option so if you need the old classic all tab menu option for the windows 10 then you can go ahead and enable this option enable the classic right click menu on the windows 11 i've already enabled it 
and when you make a right click on your desktop you see the new uh, context menu of windows 11 and if you don't want that and you need the old context menu of that windows 10 then you can go ahead and enable this option all right so once you are done from here now you can come to the optimization general windows optimization enable this option optimize windows power plan yes i want to optimize it optimize windows timer resolution yes you have to enable it because it will be improving the accuracy optimize message signal interrupt you can enable it disable windows power throttling yes disable the windows game bar yes i have to disable it you also need to disable it if you want to enjoy more performance in your gaming disable the hibernation as well remove network bandwidth limit yes i want to remove any kind of limitation on the bandwidth optimize mouse very useful you can optimize it this feature allow you to optimize your mouse setting and improve mouse performance on your system it includes adjustment for pointer speed acceleration button configuration and other so again you have to enable it optimize network congestion provider yes you have to enable it enable home gaming mode this is a special gaming mode from this application so you can go ahead and enable it but for this i believe you need a paid plan so we can just skip it no problem now below all the options are not free but at least you can check whichever are free you can go ahead and use them then finally you can come to the booster and here the very first option you get the junk cleaner and it will be cleaning all kind of junk and it will take some time so you will have to click on boost performance and once you click on boost performance it will start cleaning all kind of junk that is not required on your device next you have the optimized defrag drive and if you read here it says this optimization optimized for defragment your disk drive uh, rearranging the file fragment and improving the read and write speed resulting in faster file access and overall system performance so once you go with this option this will basically fix any kind of problem that you had on your ssd or hard drive related to the read and write because even not only your application your operating system and all your game is being installed on that particular ssd or hard drive so again you can click on boost performance and click on boost performance again and it will be taking some time and it will be uh, running in the cmd and you can see the status that what exactly it is doing so again you have to wait until it's all been done and once it's been 100 percent done now you can close it next we have the clean recent document list clean thumbnail cache again you can click on it and click on boost performance clean discord cache clean discord history so if you are a discord user and if you want to clear the cache of your discord or the history of your discord then you can do that as well scan and fix a drive error fix defender bugs so these are the additional options that you get on this free application now next we have the advanced option here and it says you are heading to the advanced setting so be careful yes i will be click i understand then it says disable the bluetooth so now if you are not using the bluetooth if you are not using any kind of bluetooth devices no need to keep the bluetooth on so go ahead and disable them disable the telemetry for the developer yes you have to go ahead and disable it disable full screen optimization yes disable it disable multi plane overlay mpc depending on your computer mpo can either improve or worse your performance if you experience stuttering or want to try something new try disabling mpq now you have to be careful here if you face any kind of a stuttering problem while gaming then you have to do some research here first try disabling this option and keep in mind that you have disabled this feature and once you are done with the optimization check your game that if you found any difference but in case if nothing has been changed or if you feel that it has made worse then you can come back to the same page and enable this again disable the virtualization based security so if you are not too much concerned about the security and you are more concerned about uh, the performance of your game then you can go ahead and disable the virtualization based security yes this will be boosting your fps and even increasing the performance disable the user account control now i won't recommend you doing that because uh, this is not good for the security purpose as you will not be getting any kind of notification while installing any application game or even making any changes in the settings 
disable the vpn support you can do that disable the wi-fi no no way disable the windows defender intel processor explorer task manager so these are the changes that you can apply you can do it from here now once you are done it will say you applied an optimization that require a restart to take the effect so finally you will have to click on restart now and after that you will find a great change even on your windows 10 or 11 while working on it and even while doing the gaming so again guys this is a free tool and i think that you should go ahead and try it and you have created a restore point so even you don't have to worry about anything and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this tool useful for your gaming and for your windows 10 or 11 and if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye